and welcome back to Subnautica. Uh, last time we had to cut a little bit abruptly, but I am. Oh my god, don't tell me my dad. Okay, no, it's not. So, uh, let me see here. Yeah, what we were looking for, if I'm not mistaken, is a fragment of a sea moth so that we can properly construct one. Mm, it seems we've come upon Passing a... Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oxygen efficiency decreased, she says. As if that matters. Uh, no. Just need one more fragment of the scene. Just a fragment, a little piece. One. And going further out does not appeal to my sense of self preservation. But if we must, then have at the thirty seconds. Up from the depths. Oh look, it's little baby reef backs. Hello, little baby reef back. Oh, aren't you just so adorable? No, we haven't scanned a reef back yet. Let us scan the babies. Mm, what is this? Ow! The hell is hurting me? <gasps> ah, a tiger plant. That would make sense, yeah. Apparently there's a ton of them around here. I always seem to forget they're there right up until the moment they start launching quills at me. Be quiet, sand shark. Be quiet. I am trying to escape predation via tiger plant. Thirty seconds. Oh, for the love of for the love of all that is not Charlie. Aha! Uh -huh. Piece of a sea moth. Oxygen. Oh no. We're not gonna make it. We're not going to make it. God fucking damn it. <laughs> Holy shit, that was one hell of a vertical. Okay, straight back down. This has gotta pop my earlobe. Something crazy doing this. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, Seamoth fragment. Let's Seek scan it. fluid intake. There we go. Seamoth unlocked. New blueprint acquired. Now we can head back to the shallows, get together everything we need to build one, and then we can worry about going down into that cave system. Or maybe heading to the Aurora. Okay. Well, I know it's going to take at least a titanium ingot.
Okay. So all I need is a power cell and two glass. That's that's really not all that hard, provided I have the copper. I might. I might have just enough copper. Okay, come on, glass. Glass. There we go. Actually, you know what? Perhaps we should go to the Aurora first. The sea moth is a fast safe mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. Huh? I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Oh my god, did I just cook? Oh my god, I did. I did just cook the bladder fish. Wow, brilliant move on my part, Alex. Brilliant move. I mean, seriously. Well, at least there's no shortage of them. Okay. Let's make for the Aurora. Actually, you know what? No. We're gonna have to go for Life Pod 17 first, because... Well, I mean, let's just be honest. It's, it's a little too... The Aurora is... 
a place that requires a lot of end game content uh, in order to fully scavenge. Really, uh, to properly get your way around the Aurora, you require a laser cutter, a uh, repair tool, you require probably uh, a gravity gun. You'll also need... What else were you supposed to need? Um... Ah, fire extinguishers. That's another thing you would need, yeah. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, let's see if we can even get to the necessary depth to be able to travel around in this biome. Yeah, this is the Jelly Shroom biome. Now, we're looking for an underwater base. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. The conditions in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Okay, yeah, um, this is about as deep as I'm going to try to get us. Let me, let me repair my Seamoth up here. Because I really do not want this thing to break. We can dive in and out of the 200 meter one just fine. The real issue is figuring out where the hell the Degasi Sea Base is, which is basically the location where the intrepid explorers. Aha! Uh -huh. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. There's nothing in there. What the hell was that? Small biting fish? What's astounding is we can still hear the reef back even all the way to hell down here. Okay, turn back, turn back, turn back, turn back, turn back. Okay. Here, I'm going to do a little bit of exploring. Using the sea glide. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything in that direction. Jesus Christ, I should not have come down here. Should have went to the Aurora like a good explorer should. Warning, maximum depth reached. All damage imminent. Okay, so apparently we're not able to successfully go around with this. So I guess I'm going to have to get together some materials to properly explore the Aurora.
Oh wait, is that a laser cutter? I think it's a laser cutter. Yeah, it is. If I could get a hold of a laser cutter, stasis rifle, and a propulsion cannon, I'd say I'd be in pretty good shape. Hmm. Well, I guess it, I'll end it here for right now, folks, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.